best in the league since Michael Jordan. Stephen A., I think that LeBron James just might be the greatest stat sheet stuffer we've ever seen. I think as a stat machine, I think he's beyond Michael Jordan. I think he will eclipse Michael Jordan in every statistical category. But you know and I know, it doesn't matter. We don't care. We all accept that. We accept he's the most talented player by far in today's game. Talent-wise, he, he's probably beyond Michael Jordan. He's a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, a little stronger. But so what? Because he's the un-Jordan, obviously, when it comes to, to clutch time, to winning time, to, as Magic Johnson used to say it. And to me, I, I, I'm back to my, my new expression, not amnesia, it's labresia. The, the LeBron idolaters out there, and maybe this guy is one of them, they, they conveniently want to overlook the nightmarish failures, the collapses, the, fro the chosen one turns frozen one that we've seen repeatedly in the playoffs. So I accept all the stats. I, I embrace all the stats. I just want to see him do it in the finals. And I know you've been right there with me all year. Well, I have been in terms of wanting to see him to do it in the finals. Um, I'm not going to be blind and oblivious to what I've seen him do during the regular season. That's why he got my league MVP vote. Um, I know that as a stat machine, he's the greatest in the game and maybe the greatest ever. But I have to add closing into the equation. You know, when you sit around and you hear guys allude to his years in Cleveland and how he was carrying a bunch of no names and all of this other stuff, I got into a debate with some of my boys the other day, including Mr. Mr. West himself. Worldwide West is what they call him because obviously he loves LeBron James. And one of the things that I pointed out was that you have to be able to close in order to cement your greatness as a player. And I think that what's dangerous about LeBron James, I'm going to go a little deep here, Skip. What's dangerous about LeBron James is not LeBron James' fault. You have people here that are so enamored and so in love with his game that they don't know how to stop where I stop. And that is by giving him praise and recognizing his greatness, but stopping right there and recognizing also that he has unfinished business. They don't want to do that. They want to sit there and stop at his greatness, put the period mark and the exclamation point there and say, that's it. And what they're not realizing is that LeBron James, in my estimation, may be the most dangerous professional athlete in the history of this country. And here's what I mean by that. When Isaiah Thomas and Dr. J. Julius Irvin and Magic Johnson and Larry Bird and everybody were coming up and playing in the games, there was an unwritten code. You had to get it done. You had to win. What transpired was Michael Jordan ultimately had elevated to astronomical proportions, but he wasn't winning championship skips and everybody was on him. It was Michael Jordan that took it upon himself that said, with these sneaker deals, with these all of these endorsement contracts, I've got to close the deal. I got to get it done because I'll be sick to my stomach if I don't. Unfortunately, up until this season, LeBron James has given the impression that if he didn't win, it was okay. The sun will rise tomorrow. The day is the sun will shine another day. I'll be just fine. And that kind of message resonated with the rest of the athletes out there. Yeah, we'll try to win. But if we don't, let's make sure we build up our Twitter and Facebook accounts, that we build up our name and our cachet on, Mar on Madison Avenue, that we position ourselves to make money and earn a quality living for ourselves after our playing days are over. And that has become more of a priority than actually winning. And that's the problem. And that's why I say before this year, he was very, very dangerous because he buffered that point. And you don't want professional athletes thinking like that while they're still playing and they still have business to accomplish. Okay, and I need to make the points of order again. Michael Jordan ran up against, as a young player, the Bad Boy Pistons and Magic's Lakers and Larry Bird's Celtics. LeBron hasn't had those kind of roadblocks. Dirk's Mavericks don't qualify as any of those three teams. 
and we know what happened to LeBron in the finals last year. And yet, I still feel this groundswell, this media bandwagon rolling once again to prematurely crown LeBron King James. He's wearing his Roman numeral, what is it, his uh, mouth guard. 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah. And d just go do it. That's all I ask. Just show us. Go do it. All right. He also said right. recently that if, if they don't win the finals, that the season is not a failure. And that leads even more people to say he said yeah, that he did a few weeks ago at the end. Oh, of the that's not season. good. That's no, not good. I, I know you don't. That's like not it. good. It absolutely. It absolutely well, is I know a you've, failure. You've if they don't win from the beginning. Year. It is. Yeah. Well, he has said you don't it have to win it all for it to be a success. success. Nothing less is nothing less than satisfactory. And that's why I love being down here in South Beach, guys, just walking around, looking at members of the Miami Heat organization. You can feel it. If they don't get it done this year, Raleigh's going to do something.